the IGS-8 got plenty of uh, uh, great reviews uh, in the last months, uh, uh, but after 100 miles, is still the same shoe? Let's check it out. I'll take a shot, I'll overpower any boss, cause I am not Let's go. that you would want to cross. I move quietly, like a shadow, there's a dark side to me. I work privately to go build and create my own dynasty. A new rivalry, it emerges ever so silently. But I got fight in me, so I squash anything that's trying me. I'm like, me versus you, I hope that you know what you're getting into. I got nothing to lose, so you better watch out, can't predict my moves. I'll make you irrelevant, I don't stop till I'm at the top settling. I live here like a local resident, and you know I ain't selling it. Here we are guys, back to business with a, a new video review. You can find all the specs uh, of the audio set in the initial video review. The link is up here uh, with all the information related to the weight, drop, uh, stockade, including the running dynamics, like uh, the ground cut the time and uh, the vertical oscillation. As always, let's split the video in three uh, sections. Uh, the first one is the overall conditions of the house, so mid so and upper after 100 miles. Then my impressions and uh, finally my conclusions. Also now, let's start from the household. I confirmed the grip is not bad, but uh, in the previous version it was better. Uh, but in this version the household is not that uh, uh, stiff as the previous one. The household has plenty of uh, rubber. Uh, in my opinion, too much. Uh, the shoe could be easily uh, lighter without uh, that much uh, rubber. There are no particular signs of wear, um, even in the heel, where usually I notice uh, some uh, uh, signs of wear even within 100 miles uh, uh, in certain shoes. Uh, but not this time, it's a great result. Uh, therefore, my prediction about uh, durability uh, is still valid and uh, it's around uh, 400 miles uh, at least. Perfect for the road, uh, but not for the gravel or dirty parts uh, due to the new design pattern. Uh, the previous version in this case was much better. Midsole now! Let's continue with the midsole now, uh, but before to go ahead guys, please uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, uh, and to smash the like button. Only 5% of you is uh, already subscribed, so it's very important for me and uh, it doesn't cost anything to you, uh, so your support for the work done uh, for this video is really appreciated. Let's now continue with the midsole. The Light Strike 2.0 is really another story in comparison with the uh, you know, original Light Strike, uh, the first version. It is much softer and you can see uh, it even from the uh, wrinkles on it. Uh, and still after 100 miles uh, has the same response but more comfortable of course. I haven't noticed uh, big differences and uh, as I said uh, in the initial video review uh, I like the uh, combo of the two forms. Uh, uh, so the Light Strike 2.0 with the Light Strike uh, uh, Pro, especially because in the forefoot uh, is still uh, pretty responsive uh, uh, as I like. But especially when I was tired, uh, for instance, uh, after the interval trainings uh, during the cool down, um, I always find a, a very comfortable landing, uh, which was much more pleasant uh, than uh, in the previous version. So overall, the midsole is uh, still in very good condition, and uh, overall, the combo of the two forms uh, uh, works pretty well. Upper now. Talking about the upper, uh, I tested this shoe uh, in Sicily and uh, in, uh, in Austria, so two uh, different environments with two different temperatures, so 40 degrees in Sicily uh, and uh, 13 degrees uh, Celsius in, in Austria. And uh, yeah, it worked probably in both cases, uh, even though uh, the black color doesn't help in this regard, despite the, the great breathability. So if you stay in a sunny, hot, uh, uh, country, I would suggest to pick up uh, another color. The shape of the upper is still in uh, good condition, it's basically the same, uh, it looks very uh, solid and uh, also the uh, the thumb is, uh, uh, wasn't annoying me at all. Uh, the foot lockdown though is uh, good but not great uh, because in my case uh, mm, um, it is a bit loose uh, in the internal side of the foot. That's pretty, especially for such kind of fast shoe that you can even use uh, in the truck. So overall, the upper is breathable, uh, solid, and uh, with a good, uh, not great uh, foot lockdown. The impression I collected so far during this initial 100 miles uh, are that the uh, Adios 8 is a very light uh, and uh, responsive shoe, when uh, especially you pick up the pace and uh, it's very comfortable 
um, more comfortable than the previous version uh, when you slow down. During the tempo runs between uh, uh, 4 minutes per kilometer uh, and uh, 4 minutes 15 uh, seconds per kilometer, uh, I had a very good feeling they should support you uh, during the rolling motion, uh, probably thanks to the new uh, foam, uh, the new Lightstrike 2.0, which is much better and more bouncier than the previous version. Uh, and um, it was very light uh, in my feet, uh, very important for long tempo runs, uh, around 15 kilometers or more. During the short intervals, uh, instead, I would have appreciated the, uh, a better foot load down, uh, but on the other end, there's uh, uh, a better stability due to the wider household uh, and uh, that helps uh, as well uh, either in tempo run or interval trainings. So in conclusion for training I like a lot of the audio set especially for tempo run, a bit less for interval trainings uh, and I would not suggest uh, for uh, long slow runs. Uh, for the lighter runners uh, it could be seen as a daily trainer only if you like the ground feel and uh, not for long distances. For racing I believe uh, they are perfect for a 10k or half marathon. So that was it. Uh, I hope guys this was helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you like this video uh, so that you won't miss the new video which will be uh, about the Boston uh, uh, to help after 100 miles uh, and especially very important you will support the channel and uh, my work. As always uh, thanks for watching and uh, till the next time keep running. Ciao. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say